Yeah, I mean, one of the things, the exercises that we go through is when you're determining your tone of voice is finding the qualities that you would associate with your tone of voice. If I was to take myself, for example, and brand myself and understand how it is that I talk, I'm very straightforward. I don't pull a lot of punches. I have a great sense of humor. I like to explore a lot of different things. I'm very open to people and I'm sensitive. Like those can all be things that I would associate with the brand. And again, that's why I make that comparison to say a dating profile is how in depth can you get and how specific can you get? So for example, let's think of it through the framework of a movie. There are very generic categories for movies as you're looking for movies. There can be drama, there can be action, there can be comedy, there can be suspense. And within each of those categories, you can get even more specific I want to watch a comedic movie that is historically based and is a spoof on a particular time period, right? If that's the kind of thing that I'm crazy about and you can articulate that as a brand as opposed to I'm a comedy, you're going to get a much more dedicated audience and a much more specific audience. People fall in love with characters, you know, think of your favorite actor or actress. You fall in love and you want to go see their movie because they're in it and you think they're great. Even though they're not the exact same character all the time, there's something that they're bringing into that characterization that compels you to watch them. You need to think about your brand through a similar lens. Uh, so think about it not through qualities of we're friendly, we're, we're welcoming, uh, start there, but then continue to self your, ask yourself, but let's get more specific, let's get more specific, let's get more specific. So one of the examples that I like to give, one of the uh, frameworks that I like to give people is think of five words that are representative of your brand and then extract from those words five other words. So if part of your brand is rebellious, Another word could be maverick. Another word could be upstart. Another word could be uh, irreverent. There's a lot of different ways that you can start to sculpt and cultivate exactly what your version of any one thing is. And it's that level of specificity that you want to keep driving towards. I want to be clear. You don't want to be different for the sake of being different. That is not it. But uncovering exactly what you are with as much specificity as possible will only make you a stronger brand. Just like it's, it's more compelling to talk to someone who you can have a conversation with versus someone who only gives you yes, no answers. So the more generic you make something, the more you're cutting yourself off to an audience getting to know you any better. So yeah, you can be an action movie, but the more specific you can get, the more you can draw on a very specific client and the better chance you have of having a dedicated customer and not someone who's going to shop around and look for different things.